<laughs> it's kind of t- it's kind of tough nowadays to to not be on the web, like not have a online presence. Right? It's only tough if you're craving for that attention. I say, if you're okay with n- not mi- not having that FOMO feeling, it's not that bad. It actually makes it less stressful in your life. I have FOMO every day of the, <laughs> the week, <laughs> so I mean, every time I, I see I see my like Instagram posts from from friends, Facebook posts, I'm like. There's so many things happening right now in New York City, and I'm missing out on it. And I don't know. Just uh, I I need to be in the know. And I, but I, I, especially in this uh, in the society that we live in now, you know, you're trying to you're trying to make something of yourself. You're trying to be an entrepreneur. You need to be like out there, right? That's how I feel. So my thing, I feel like that's one of the issues of today's thing. It's like it's so easy to be in know of everything, trying to be involved in everything. But, but it's fun though. But we we right? lost a sense of feeling of it's okay to just be you, be okay with what you're doing at the moment. If it's doing nothing at the moment and that that's what makes you happy, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you're always going by a sense of FOMO, then you're just gonna keep constantly being stressed out by it. You you're not gonna enjoy your current moment at the time. You just think about okay, I'm doing this, but what else could I be doing? Oh, what else am I missing out on? And I think that's an issue in today's day and age and a lot of that's caused by social media of course Mm -hmm. um and by staying off of it i've been okay i mean i'm i it's helping me de-age by 10 years (laughs) (laughs) so so you're saying that uh social media creates anxiety and stress 100 percent, yes because you always think about okay how can you make your life look perfect out there for everybody else to see because that's your public album Mm. and who no one wants to put out a bad album so that puts on the stress on you to always make sure everything looks picture perfect create that sense of envy i guess and if that's what you're trying to aim and trying to do then you're not being true to yourself right you're just stressing out about okay how can i plan for this next thing plan for this next post plan for this next post and what do you why do you think that's it why it it sounds like the way you explain it it almost sounds like a sickness like if, if 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 I was in the past and you drop me off right here, like boop, in the future, and and you're trying to explain social media culture as it is in 2019, and just listening to it from the outside looking in, I would think, what the fuck is wrong with these people? It, it, it sounds like some type of disease that we're inflicting upon ourselves. So why do you think that is? I mean, who's to say that isn't a mental new mental disease that could be ongoing caused by this day and age with the introduction of you're always connected now. Um, I think since even before this day and age, everyone had the urge to share. I mean, we go back to early 90s, people came back with slideshows like, can you see it now? This was me from my vacation. Here's my vacation. Here's my vacation photos. Oh, here's my wedding album photos. Let me share this with you. Everyone's always had the need to share, but it wasn't as easy back then because, again, internet wasn't as widely available. Um, there wasn't social media. There wasn't social media. You shared within your close circle. But now that's everything so public, it's easy access. That it just creates that, it opened up the gateway for that need to share to be even larger, made it easier, and now to make it seem more perfect. So in a way, I say the need to be on social media all the time and to present yourself as picture perfect mm-hmm. is a mental disease. Yeah, so wh- why, are, why are people in search or hunting for that social proof? they might not be happy with how they are with their current life because they see some of the reflection. Again, what you want to present to others might not be how you view yourself and you're going for that acceptance and the liking from other people to make yourself feel better. So it's almost like a morale boost or a self-worth boost. And honestly, if you need that from social media, from people you know, people you might not know, Mm -hmm. then that is a issue. That that is a social issue that's caused by, that's probably been prevalent before social media, but made worse and exaggerated and exacerbated by social media. Yeah, I agree with that because <clears throat> these issues didn't start with so, like digital presence or social media. You know, you had you had back in the day without that, you had people always wanting to be popular, right? How did people do that in the past, right? Um, so it's just like you like you said, it it, it worsened it. Mm-hmm. In some ways, right? It's also a psycho. It's a psychological thing because people, when they, when they, when they click on 
like they tap on like. You know, there <clears throat> there is a hit of dopamine. It's scientifically proven that people, when they see a like or they see um, a notification on their phone, their brains react differently and they get a hit of uh, dopamine that makes them feel good, right? So you think you think it gives them some type of um, a false sense of accomplishment? 